Hi, good day. Today I'm going to show you how to use index. So there's a description from the Microsoft site. Say index using reference form. Return the reference of the cell at the intersections of a particular row and column. So what does that mean, right? Let's just give you an example. Right in Malaysia context, for those your employee have after deductions of cell EPF, right? They have a monthly, a monthly, monthly salary of three thousand one hundred one and above, right? And for this example, I only do it until four thousand one hundred fifty, right? That's a majority of working adults have in Malaysia. So I convert that into a. Also, what does that mean here is that right? Uh, first, they are single working adult, adults, or married. For married, there are two categories. So the category for wife and husband that is either wife or husband is not working, or the wife and husband is both working. Uh, both of them are working. So let's go here. Simple, right? So I convert that into a a chart. So here is what you have, right? Oh, uh, Bujam is single, right? Single or uh, married. So if I say Bujam, right? And then uh, obviously there's no there's no uh, uh, kids, right? Uh, we exclude those orphans uh, you adopt and so on, right? Now let's say if I put two here, right? Oh, uh, the system will say, oh, well, if you feel you don't have to, you don't have kids, right? So, so you should have that. So just put zero and. Um, let's say the income is about four thousand after deductions um, of the EPF and so, so uh, uh, EPF, right? Then it's about three thousand eight. So uh, using the match, right, we're able to find out where's the row for uh, four. Row four. Let's see, fourteen, right? Row four, fourteen, right? So let's go here, right? Just select this. Uh, if you take a look at this, uh, from here all the way to the one that match. 3,800 will be here. So 1, 2, 3 are close to 14. Yeah, exactly 14. Right, row 14. And then, uh, since it's Bujang, so we put uh, the row first one. So the PCB will be, yep, that's right. Oh, that is 140, right? But what if after the deduction is 1,801, right? You need to pay 6 ringgit more. Uh, unless, uh, how about if you have just slightly another 51, right, 51, you pay 152 as compared to 140, uh, uh, right, you pay extra 12 ringgit, uh, contribute to the Malaysia government. Um, so that's it, right, so what I've done using here is that it's a, it's a drop down, right, is a drop down here, right? Let's go to data, data validations, data validations, right? So this is the um, kind of data validation that using custom, where right? include the formulas, right? So if you know well about your n function, your o function, then you can, right, find the right ways to validate this value. So now if I put Calvin, right? So and uh, I can still put zero, right? As you can see, zero is no problem, right? And um, I can put up to ten kids, right? Ten kids, then it goes two thousand eight hundred, and uh, it goes to six thousand, right? Oh, uh, that's income. Uh, the row will be sixteen. Let's see if this work. Yeah, that's it. Three eight five one, right? Exactly on that row and. This is carving, right? But we have not considered that whether the spouse and wife is uh, wo working or not, right? Because this is a simple, right? So in the advanced, we'll teach you how to switch from this to that just by using, again, a simple index, but a more complex one. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is using index as well. So what is this index all about? Right? You can see that we go back to simple worksheets. C29, that's refer to rows. So index can uh, use 
you can specify the exact row number and the column number that intersect within this area. This is what it means in the Microsoft where here, right? See that return a reference of the cell. Right, reference the cell and, and then in turn show the value, the intersect of a particular row. That is what it means here. I right, can see that. That's why we're here. Index C29. This six. So that's it, right? Um why would you learn something? Right, this is index. Um do enroll my courses, right? Oh, uh, give us send us a uh, message. Oh, uh, that's it, and that's for today's tips. Thank you.